Hey YouTube, so I'm here. So the world is in debt, like crazy amounts of debt, and every country owes shitloads of, you know, billions of dollars to every other country, etc. And I remember once seeing a comedian saying, you know, who do we owe all of this debt to? Can't we just find that person and kill him? Um, now, funny joke, obviously there's a lot more behind the scenes, and so um, Yesterday, uh, by the looks of it, quarter to five, I posted this um, video on my public Facebook page saying the world is full of debt, but who do we actually owe it to? Uh, and why it's incredibly likely that a digital pound will replace the pound as we know it. And overnight, um, we had like loads of comments uh, and 65 shares. So I thought I'd sort of repost this on YouTube um, because this um, event was in 2019 where I was talking about this, this crypto pound. Um, and it's happening. It is happening. Um, all the uh, the central banks across the world are looking to create their own digital currencies. Um, the Bank of England, the ECB, like they're all doing it. And it looks like China. 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 The the the, the Chinese central bank uh, is going to be the first one off the blocks. So um, yeah, have a look at this video. Hopefully it helps. And uh, yeah. See you soon. Uh, yeah? Yeah, hi. So, do you think that, are you implying that crypto will replace national currencies and will be an international currency? And on that basis then, how do governments then set budgets and set their own monetary policy if there's an international currency and obviously all government debt will, there, will then have to be completely internationalised and I just think that's really unrealistic because just quickly if you look at what's happening between in the euro area it doesn't even work on a euro level between Greece and Germany because the economies are different if that mm. happens on a global scale I don't think that's going to work so do you know who, uh, who so when you see the numbers like oh this country is x trillion in debt this country is, who do you think oh, is, the debt is owed to nope the US may owe a, a, a bucket load to China, yeah. Ultimately, you have to follow the money. When you follow the money, the central banks is who, where all the debt is owed to. And when you go up even further, it's really it's the, the Bank of International Settlements, or Bank for Inter the Biz, the IMF, and the World Bank. That's really where the buck stops. And so if you're looking at the IMF, they're, they're what, again, this is just a theory. This is just my opinion. Um, ultimately, it's the central banks. They have the power to wipe debt basically um, and I reckon and over the last 20 to 30 years there's been a currency which has been um, flowing around called the SDR the special drawing right so nearly every time you hear of a massive bailout or X billion dollar bailout it's never done with the dollar it's done with the SDR so the SDR uh, sorry the IMF prints SDRs out of its ass it, just like the Federal Reserve can print dollars um, and that's what they bail out. So what I personally see happening is that the IMF will try and make moves to uh, back, back or create a, a crypto version of the SDR. Um, and that's where they can regain control. But going back to the, the, sov the sovereign um, issue of countries trying to create their own crypto. So there's already a war on cash. Okay, Go to Scandinavia. It's hard to find cash. Um, and governments don't like it. And what you're going to see over the next five years is governments across the world are going to start really having this, this, this negative campaign against cash. They'll say things like, only drug lords and criminals uh, deal with cash, okay? And so they want to put everyone in, in an electronic form. And they'll say things like, uh, eventually, mark my words, one day they'll go, oh, as of this year, as of this line in the sand, we're going to get rid of the £50 note. And people think, huh, yeah, I never use a 50 pound note. Only drug lords use 50 pound notes. Um, <laughs> and so people won't really care. But the thing is, if you get rid of the 50 pound note, you half the UK currency supply. So what are they, so what they'll do, and they'll say things like, oh, it costs 100 million pounds a year to have a, a you know, a, a note system because they have to constantly print and destroy notes uh, to circulate them. So what they'll probably do, working very closely with HMRC, you never get away from the tax man, is they'll go, here is crypto pound, and here is the official government wallet for crypto pound, and they'll, they'll put it all over the place, adverts, TV, radio, just like they're pushing the workplace pension down our throats. Um, and 
they will, uh, they will use the existing infrastructure financial system to propagate the use of crypto pound. So they'll, they'll get, you, know, you can have a bank card, you can do contactless payments with it. So you'll end up using crypto pound whether you know it or not. Then fast forward, let's say five years, where everyone is just using crypto pound because they'll make it really easy. They'll go, oh yeah, we're now getting rid of the 20 pound, 10 pound, and five pound note. Oh, we're all cashless. So that's the end game because what they then want to see, because once everyone's using crypto pound, guess what? Taxman sees everything. You cannot hide. The only place you can hide is Bitcoin and then the privacy currencies. So I see privacy, privacy coins doing pretty well, like Monero, etc. It's, I use a really bad analogy of if I was a shepherd and I needed to slaughter all of my sheep, how would I do it? I wouldn't just go out, out with a shotgun to every sheep on the hills. I'd get some dogs, put them all in the pen, and once they're in the pen, I'd force them into the abattoir, right? So, the, the analogy, so bear with me here. The analogy here, <laughs> so what they're doing, the action of bringing all the public into the pen is getting them out of cash. The moment you can't hide in notes or under the mattress, whatever, when you're all using crypto pound and they can see everything, all they need to do is go, oh, times are tough. We're going to negative rates, 1% negative rates. So you can't do anything about that. And all of a sudden, they have a massive income stream, a massive tax, and you can't do anything about it unless you have Bitcoin or a privacy coin. All right. um, sorry, <coughs> I'll shut up now. No, no problem. We're, uh, we've got a lot to get through, so um, we have one more question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so everything I mentioned in that video was what I put in my crypto book in 2018 and I think now it's May 2020 I've got a few little tweaks and updates uh, and the first thing which has already happened is that they have increased the contactless limit so it's now 45 pounds so what this has basically done is in increase the I guess the market share of contactless payments uh, compared to uh, cash and, and and bank transfer etc. So that's the first one that's and that's quite subtle. Uh, the next one is a growing aversion to physical cash, so coins and notes, um, due to the whole COVID um, lockdown type rubbish. Um, and so the the government will basically say that you know cash is spreading germs and spreading COVID, blah blah blah, uh, and the public will you know largely agree and so people will naturally stop using uh, cash as much and this is going to save the government a lot of money um, because it takes a lot of money um, and manpower to maintain a currency supply as in a physical currency supply uh, the first the third one is that eventually when the next phase of this crash happens and we're going to crash a lot harder and a lot deeper than a lot of people think um, a major bank is going to go bust as in a major um, Main Street Bank, so one of the Barclays, Santander, HSBC, one of those big boys is going to go bust. And what's going to happen is that um, along at, at the same time as that, let's say you have, I don't know, £1,000 in your Barclays account and that goes bust, um, the, I don't think the government is going to let the public take the big hit for that one. So what they'll do is they'll, they'll just let these banks go bust. They'll, the government will make the Bank of England be effectively the bank for the public as well, and you know, com companies like Revolut, uh, TransferWise, etc., they may be front end facing um, uh, user interfaces, but basically behind this, they'll, they'll simply connect to the back office of uh, the, the Bank of England. And so, what will happen is that you will get your your digital wallet. Uh, by then, the digital sterling will arrive. They they will avoid the word crypto pound, etc. They'll just call it digital sterling or digital pound. Um, and so, yeah, they'll go right. You lost a thousand pounds in your Barclays account, but don't worry. In your new uh, government wallet, you now have a thousand digital pounds. Um, and then, guess what? Bingo. We are all in that pen. Good luck, everyone.